In this video, we're going to look at the input gain on the Headrush pedal board. Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I release new content. So the whole goal of today's video is I was kind of messing around with different guitars and I was noticing that different rigs responded to different pickup types and how hot those pickups actually are and how much volume you're pushing the front of the amp and the compression and the gain pedals and different stuff. So I was messing around a little bit and I noticed that, hey, you can actually crank up the input gain here and maybe save that as a preset. You can see that this is saved as a Warhawk, which is what I'm playing right now, a Reverend Warhawk. And some of the other Reverends I have, the pickups are just a little bit hotter than what these are outputting. So what you can do is kind of mess around with the input gain and then save that as a preset. So when you're playing a certain set list, and you want this guitar to sound the same as other guitars as far as gain staging and how everything responds to the amp. Uh, you can just kind of bring up that gain and get the same kind of feel and response, but maybe a different tone from the different kinds of pickups. So what I mean by that is if I just play right now, right, there's no amp or anything in the chain but I just wanted to see so you can definitely bring up the volume there and you can see that even with the gain all the way up you're not going to be smashing that you know the LED there at the top Cool. So let's bring this back down. And then let's bring in an amplifier. Let's do the gain deluxe mod. We can check her output. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so now looking at the actual amp settings, so we have the gain at 50%, the masters, you know, not doing a whole lot. We can crank that up or down, but what I really want to get at, instead of cranking the gain on the amp, let's see what happens if we crank up the gain on the input and just drive the amp harder. So this is what the amp sounds like with everything at zero and just a normal bridge pickup. Now let's start cranking it up a little bit. Let's add 6 dB again. And let's crank it up all the way. Now, maybe you don't want things to be that drastic, but if you find yourself playing different guitars and the rig that you just made on a certain guitar now sounds different when you play it another guitar, well, it might be because the pickup that you made the first rig with is hotter or lower output than the next guitar. And you're simply just having a mix match of different volumes going into the input of the amp and therefore you're getting a different response overall from the rig that you just made so let me go ahead and grab a different guitar and i'll show you what i mean all right so now this is the reverend sensei it has ra rail hammer pickups so this is going to be a hotter pickup than the revtrons that were in the warhawk so let's put the gain at zero Let's just listen to how these pickups respond to the amp. So already this sound is a lot louder 
than what the other pickups were. And I had to turn the other pickup at least uh, 6 to 12 dB of gain just to get the same kind of breakup that these pickups are having, okay? So let that be a lesson to you. If you really want to have a consistent sound between all your guitars, you need to adjust the input gain and have that saved as a preset so you can store that with each rig that you have. And you can either lock that or you can unlock it. So it really doesn't matter. But you can store the gain settings per rig. So let's just say this setting is at zero. So we're gonna save this rig as zero dB. Now the next rig, we're gonna save at six dB. All right, so if it's unlocked, that means you can change the settings to whatever you want and it's gonna stay with the actual rig. All right, so you notice that on the six dB, it changes to six, you know, plus six dB. Then if we change the rigs, to zero dB, it changes again. So you can really create a whole set list and have the input set to whatever you want per guitar that you're playing, all right? Um, you can even lower the output. So let's do something different now. All right, this one's gonna be set to negative six. And I know this guitar has hotter pickups, so therefore I'm gonna lower the input gain so that way the gain structure is the same throughout all the rigs, okay? So let's check this one out. So here's the sound now. And here's 6 dB. And here is 0 dB. Okay, and you know that the rig is not locked when the little uh, lock pad there is not lit up in red. If it's locked, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna be like a closed lock in red, okay? So for this purpose, we wanna be unlocked, and so that way we can change gate thresholds and input gain and all kinds of different stuff, depending on what kind of rig that you're building, all right? So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, really take advantage of that depending on what kind of guitar you're using if you feel like your sound is Drastically changing from rig to rig depending on what guitar you feel like playing at the time Well, it's probably because you know the sound is going to change because of that pickup type. All right, so If you've liked this video give it a huge thumbs up and be sure to like share and subscribe in the meantime I am dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video Keep rocking. So why do people call me Dr. McFarland? Because I heal people with sweet rock and roll.